Hey, Blender Bomb here. You haven't seen me in a while. That's because I had a problem with my eye and I look like, ugh, but it's okay now. So let's go back to making videos again. All right, so today we're going to talk about internal corners when we do bevels. This is the geometry we're going to work with. You can see we have internal corners and also we have triangles that we will want to get rid of. So if I apply a basic bevel modifier with two division on the edges, uh, it looks okay, but if you apply a subdivision modifier on top of it, you will get these weird triangles here in the corners, and that's not really good. You cannot use this in production. Okay, let me turn off the subdivision modifier. So there are two ways that you can fix it. The first one is to change the middle outer here to arc. And you see, now we get a nice corner. The problem is that we get an end gun here with six sides. So what we need to do is to cut from here to here. So let's do that. I will go into vertex mode and I will connect this point here with this one. Press J and that's it. Now you fixed your problem. Now you have quads. Let me turn off the bevel modifier and I'll do it on the other side so you can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm just connecting this point with this point. And now if I turn it back on, you can see we get the expected result. But this is a destructive method. Uh, is there another way we could do this? Maybe with geometry nodes. So what if we had a geometry node preset that we could use that would do this? So there you go. I will not take the credit for this. It was done by somebody called Remesher and he did this really nice system. So I will turn it on and you see, bang, it's like magic. And the cool part is that it's non-destructive. So you can turn it back off. You can see you have the original geometry. So you can just set this up as your geometry node presets and use it as needed. Thank you so much Remesher for the help. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's fix the two triangles that we have here. And we can also see that we have here a vertex that has five edges connected to it. And I know that some ZBrush artists, they hate this. They don't want this. Actually, we're going to fix both issues at the same time. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to connect uh, these uh, vertices here. So like this and these two here. Now we got a bunch of triangles. So we're going to delete some edges. So let's delete this one and this one. So now you see we got two uh, quads here and this one here. Now everything is quads. But we have two edges here that are perfectly aligned and that's not very good, especially for distortion if you need to break the model. So uh, we want to avoid that. So one easy way to do this is select just one of the faces. And in select, you can select everything that is coplanar. So it's going to select all the polygons that are, well, coplanar. Then we're going to shrink the selection. So you can go into the select menu and you go select less, more or less here, less. And finally, what we want to do is to smooth these vertices. So we're going to go into the vertex menu and we're going to choose a smooth. Uh, and then you can change the level of smoothing that you want. Oh, but now my polygons are not perfectly squared. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that they have a similar surface area so that if you want to sculpt them, it's going to work well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there are hotkeys for all these functions and I use them. But when I teach, I want to tell people where it is and what it does. Okay, enjoy. Bye.